Thank you so much for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. So what does that mean? That means that inflector can be and is one of the best tools. So let's go through this. What do we have for the facts of life? Energy is the largest industry on the planet by far. The U.S. spends $1 billion per day on fuel, 60% of it imported. We are running out of atmosphere faster than we are out of oil. What does that mean? We are hiding from the two costs of current energy economies. Large changes are needed, but tools exist to make this happen. And the best tool is Inflector. Inflector is not, it's not one of the best, but the best tools to make this happen. Energy conservation is a better option than alternative energy sources is what we're trying to point out here. Energy efficiency. If you remember when you were a kid going to school and you had the food pyramid, you had the meats, the milks at the base, and then you had the desserts in the middle and at the very top. The point is, is that, you know, the, the four basic food groups are at the base of the pyramid. And this is what energy conservation is. Energy conservation and energy efficiency is what is going to allow us to fulfill the world energy demands. Increasing energy efficiency remains the most cost-effective way to reduce the impact of fossil fuel, according to the Energy Center of Wisconsin. Looky here, this is a press release from the National Academy of Sciences and Engineering, the Institute of Medicine, and the National Research Center, dated December 9, 2009. Headlines, existing energy efficiency technologies could provide major savings. Energy efficient technologies that exist today or that are likely to be developed in the near future could save considerable money as well as energy, says a new report from the National Research Council. Look at this highlighted green. Fully adopting these technologies, such as inflector window insulators, could lower projected energy use 17 to 20 percent by 2020 or 25 percent to 31 percent by 2030. Achieving full deployment of these energy efficient technologies like inflector window insulators will depend in part on pressures of driving adoption, such as high energy prices or public policies designed to increase energy efficiency. This is a very important fact here. Nearly 70% of electricity consumption occurs in buildings. The energy savings from attending full deployment of cost-effective energy efficient technologies in buildings alone could eliminate the need to add new electricity generation capacity through 2030, this report says. In essence, let's just look at everything we just talked about. Sustain our sustainable energy future. Is it energy conservation and energy efficiency or is it alternative energy sources and renewables? Well, by definitely, if you look at the energy pyramid, it says energy conservation and energy efficiency is what is going to allow us to fulfill those world energy demands. Let's take a look at the key to our sustainable energy future for the planet rests on four actions. And these are four things that Inflector will address. Number one, a move towards a low carbon economy as a result of using less electricity through energy conservation and energy efficiency. That's going to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. Uh, as a result of that, less waste through a car less uh, carbon economy. Number three, significantly improve energy efficiency across all sectors. We're talking about industrial sector. We're talking about the commercial sector, the residential sector, the governmental sector. This is what inflector window insulators will allow, is the development of affordable energy solutions. In inflector window insulators addresses all four of these. I'm going to reiterate this. A move towards a low carbon economy. Reduce dependency on fossil fuels, significantly improve energy efficiency across all sectors, the development of affordable energy solutions. This is what inflector window insulators will accomplish. I'd like to uh, just welcome uh, one member in uh, particular to our, uh, our webinar here. I'd like to welcome Liberty Home Builders, our newest manufacturer here in Texas, to this webinar. We'd like to thank them and Mr. Ben Merrick for coming aboard. Now I'd like to welcome back Mr. Dennis Roberts. With, who is the president in Inflector Window Insulators Efficiency, Energy Efficiency done right. Uh, again, thank you so much, and I just want to thank you and for your time. But just remember this, Inflector is not one of the best, but the best tools to address the energy conservation needs and energy efficient needs on this planet. Here you go, Mr. Roberts. Thank you.
Thank you, Keith. That's amazing and very informational uh, points that you brought up. I'd like to now just take a few seconds there and uh, see if we can address a question or two from our audience out there. Let's see if we what we got going at there. Uh, yeah, it, uh, people are just asking about a computer being muted. It, uh, you're being muted because you can hear what I'm saying, but you cannot speak now during the presentation. That's just a function of go to meetings. Again, thank you very much for attending. So let's let's talk about what we've discussed already have determined. We've already determined that there's a big need out there because the globe, the world is using more energy than they're producing. That use of energy is also creating a lot of uh, issues around the world including the clean, the, including the climate change situations. So first of all we know there's a problem. Then the question becomes how do we address that problem? What Keith was telling us is that conservation efficiency is by far the most important thing we can do. We are confident of energy efficiency done right as the studies show that in truth we're going to need all of these things. We need renewables. We need alternative energy. But by far the most important thing we can do and it's becoming critical that we do is become more, have more conservation and more energy efficiency. Let's talk about possible things that we can do to become more energy efficient, energy confident, and, and more energy efficient. One, we know that heat gain and heat loss through windows accounts for 50 percent of heating and cooling, cooling needs. The Department of Energy estimates that the average homeowner can save up to 30 percent of heating and cooling costs with proper insulation and air sealing. Compared to other green projects, insulating and sealing and remember, Inflector is both creating insulation and sealing against infiltration. So projects that are insulating and sealing, which go hand in hand, offer consumers their quickest return on investment. And I'll take that a point further. It offers insulation and sealing offers the world a lot better efficiency. I want to speak briefly about a building envelope. What is the building envelope? The building envelope or home envelope is everything that protects the inside controlled environment against the outside environment. Now one thing I'd like you to know about the, the envelope is that of all the things on the envelope, everything in the envelope is designed to keep the outside out except windows. Windows are designed to bring the outside in. And that same ability to bring the outside in makes them the most energy inefficient part of the building envelope. Not only is Inflector a good insulator, but it actually creates free energy. And free energy is just this. Inflector is a passive solar collector. When you put Inflector in what we call the winter mode, the Inflector window insulator can produce up to 2,096 BTUs per sunlight hour. That's the equivalent of a 600 watt electrical heater. This is not something we determined. This is something that's been proving in tests at the Yeller Solar Laboratories and Texas A&M. So this is something that has actually been proven to be true. And actually it's been reaffirmed in tests that we've been doing as of late. So actually during the winter you can get a tremendous amount of free heat. And let me tell you, how much free heat does that represent? Imagine each window representing a 600 watt electric heater producing free heat for you. So each solar loading window can produce up to 600 watts of heat. Well, how important is that? Let me tell you, we've done recently been doing tests in the area just north of Detroit next to Windsor, Ontario, and what we found out is that there were days when even though the temperature averaged about 30 to 32 degrees, they still had days where there were seven and a half to eight hours where the furnaces did not come on because of the free heat. So can you imagine having seven to eight hours of free heat even on a cold day. And in addition to that, remember that the inflector also during the summer is going to uh, stop your infiltration by 71 percent. It will also reduce your solar heat gain by 65 percent at the same time blocking 90 percent 
of the harmful UV rays. So already we've talked about the building envelope and the importance and the amount of money that's lost in heating and cooling. And what, in addition to the, to the fact that we're being able to bring in free heat, we're actually insulating the window. And let me demonstrate how much insulation we can provide. provide. This is going to be an infrared camera study done up in Maine. This was done on a day when it was 13 degrees outside. Okay, during this day when the temperature was 13 degrees outside, the temperature on the outside of the window was average of about 17, a little over 17 degrees. One spot 16.3, one's 18.7. So the window temperature on the outside of the window glass is about 18 degrees. Now we have a picture taken inside of that very same window on the day when it's 18, it was 13 degrees outside and the outside window temperature is 18 degrees. We've got the infrared camera showing us a couple of different spots where it reads the temperature. Spot number one is on the wall between two studs. Temperature number two is on the inflector. Now this is absolutely amazing and shows the insulation building ability of inflector because your temperature on the wall, an R22 wall, was 67.3 degrees. But your temperature on the inflector was only three less than less than three degrees difference. So what you're getting is the comfort and insulation almost the same as an R22 wall. That's an incredible improvement. Now we'd like to show you the part that we mentioned just a little while ago, which is the solar loading or the heat production benefits. Okay, this is a picture was taken on a day when it was 24 degrees outside. Okay, what I'm going to tell you this, if the temperature is 24 degrees outside, then if you looked at the temperature on that window glass, it's going to be about 36 degrees. But we've got the window covered, unfortunately, with the inflector. So the wall temperature, because of the inside heat, is 72.9 degrees, almost 73 degrees. In a normal situation, your heated air would hit up against that cold window about 36 degrees, and it creates a, a situation that's called a convection loop which because the warm air hits the cold glass, the temperature falls, it pulls more air behind it, and it creates its own air current, which feels like a draft. So one, when that warm air is hitting that cold glass, you're losing energy because it's taking energy out of the glass to drop the air temperature. But now, with the inflector, instead of having that warm air hitting the cold glass, now it's hitting a surface that is considerably warmer than even the wall. So it's putting heat back into the air and breaking up the convection loop. Look at the difference in the significance. 112 degrees the temperature on the inflector. Again, compare that to the temperature on the, ins on the inside portion of the glass, which would be approximately 36 degrees. How about about an 80 degree temperature difference because you have the inflector insulated walls? This is amazing. So let me talk a little bit about what we're trying to do and what we do do with the inflector as a, as a energy conservation, energy efficiency measure. They've determined that you want to achieve super efficiency in housing. The things you ought to address are insulation and windows. Look, points number one and points number two are the things that inflector does well. It insulates the windows. It insulates the least energy efficient part of that. So let's look at what inflector does do. What inflector does is it keeps the heat in in the winter, it keeps it out in the summer. It reflects sunlight out and reduces radiant heat and solar gain. It stops air infiltration by creating an air seal or air barrier between the window and the inflector insulator. And this is a key part of the energy efficient that it provides because now you don't have convective conductive glass making contact with your heated or cooled air. It reduces nighttime thermal heat loss by 37%. Again, it's reversible, so you're able to take advantage of keeping the heat out or keeping the, the heat in. It maintains and stabilizes indoor temperatures, so what you can have is those rooms that are hotter in the summer or colder in the winter, now you can get stability across them. Remember, inflector is a passive system, so it's virtually maintenance-free. It blocks 90% of the UV rays that causes damage to the carpets. It's virtually transparent and reduces glare and it reduces wear and tear on your HVAC system, making lower maintenance and a longer lifespan for, the, for your heating and air conditioning. Now let's talk about another major issue across the world, and that's called 